everyone and welcome to another very beautiful and a very interactive chess game of Paul Morphy. And in this game Paul Morphy has the black pieces and his opponent is Alexander B. Fortmeg. And this game was played in New York in 1857 in the first American Chess Congress. And Alexander B. Fortmeg starts the game with playing e4, e5, knight to f3, knight to c6, d4. So we have the scotch game. Paul Morphy captures the pawn, c3, sacrificing the c-pawn for developing the knight. d takes on c3, knight takes on c3, bishop to c5, bishop to c4, d6, h3, bishop to e6 by Paul Morphy, attacking the bishop, bishop to b5, pinning the knight, knight from g to e7, knight to g5. And after this move, Paul Morphy castled. Queen to h5, threatening checkmate, and Paul Morphy is simply defending with h6, knight to f3, knight to g6, g4. And in this position, Paul Morphy successfully defend his king, and his king is looking very safe. And on the other hand, before the next king is looking very compromised, because he haven't castled yet, and also he haven't developed his bishop. And it looks like pushing the g-pawn at this moment of the game looks like a very bad idea. So Paul Morphy played knight from c to e5, activating the knight. Knight takes knight, d takes on e5. g5, queen to d4, attacking on f2, bishop to e3, queen to b4. And b4 mech captures the bishop. And after bishop takes on c5, Paul Morphy didn't capture the bishop. He played queen takes on b2. And this move is stronger. So Paul Morphy is threatening to play queen takes rook. And only now, Alexander B. Fortmeg castled. Queen takes knight. And B. Fortmeg captures the rook. And winning the exchange, rook takes on f8. But also Paul Morphy has two extra pawns. Although Paul Morphy lost the exchange. And is he going to lose to Alexander B. Fortmeg? Rook from a to c1. Meg is attacking the queen. Paul Morphy played queen to b2. Bishop to c4, saving the bishop. Knight to f4, attacking the queen. Queen to d1, and Paul Morphy captures another pawn. Knight takes on h3, so Paul Morphy is compensating his rook with capturing three extra pawns. And black has the compensation, so that's check, king to g2, knight to f4, check, king to h1, queen to b6 by Paul Morphy, g takes on h6. Bishop takes bishop, h7, that's check, and Paul Morphy captures the pawn with the king. After king takes on h7, before mech, only played queen to g4, a quiet move, not capturing the bishop. And what happens if rook takes bishop? Well, this is the key moment of the game. And we have queen to h6, that's check, and white is getting checkmated. And king to g1, queen to g5, check, king to h1, or king to h2, it doesn't matter, white is getting checkmated. So queen to g2, that's checkmate. So that's why b4 mech, unfortunately, didn't capture the bishop. So Paul Morphy is threatening checkmate. That's why he played queen to g4. But queen to h6 anyway by Paul Morphy, king to g1. And now Paul Morphy captures the rook with the bishop. Downfall for b4 mech. Rook takes bishop, rook to d8 a4, rook to d6, and of course Paul Morphy is planning to play rook to g6. And in this very desperate, hopeless position, b4 mech only played f3. 
So in this position, he doesn't have any reasonable defense. And then Paul Morphy played rook to g6, attacking the queen, well, winning the queen. And after this move, b4 make, played a funny move. And after that move, he resigned. Well, he played king to f2, and then he had enough. At one point, it looked like white had a decent chance. It looked like white was winning, but somehow and some way, Paul Morphy turned things around, and now white is losing the queen. So the possible continuation, not capturing the queen immediately, queen to h2, this move is the better move. So if white defends with the queen, queen takes queen, king to e3, or king to e1, it doesn't matter. So we have queen to e2, and that's checkmate. So if king to e1, queen to e2 again, checkmate. If queen to g2, queen takes queen. King to e3, queen to e2, checkmate. And white is getting checkmated. So after king to f2, b4 mag, resigned. What a disastrous game for white. And I hope you have enjoyed watching this video. And I hope to see you next time. Take care.